Hi, I'm Eddie with Hilltop Camper and RV, and today I'm going to be showing you the 2024 Jayco Jayfeather 24BH. First thing you'll notice here is at the front, we've got a molded front cap with LED light strips in there. You've got kind of landing lights at night. Uh, here we've got two 30 pound propane tanks. We've got an electric tongue jack with a light. So again, if you're hooking up at night, it's nice to have a little extra light to do that. Uh, we've also got an integrated A-frame to make it nice and solid. Speaking of solid, here the all new j feathers will come with what they call the rock solid stabilizing system. What it is, it's a different uh, stabilizer jack that kind of triangulates the corner there and makes it much stronger as you have those jacks set up. Here we're going to find our pass-through storage. <clears throat> we're in here, we're going to notice you've got a mount here and what that mount and table is for is for an outdoor griddle which I'll show you where that goes in a minute here. On our uh, marker lights here you've also got a prep for side view cameras if you wanted to add that. Going down the rest of it here you've got a suburban furnace here You've got an outlet for a TV if you wanted to. Here's our mount for that. Cable hookup, again, in the outlet. Also, you have easy access to our fresh water tank right here. Uh, right here, we're going to have a Furion uh, tankless water heater that will run strictly off propane. And again, like it sounds, you've got endless amount of water. Jayco does Goodyear brand tires. Uh, these are rated at 87 miles an hour, so you know you can go on the freeway safely and at the speed you're comfortable with. Here we've got the integrated uh, fold-out steps. What I like about these is they're very solid and they're adjustable. So if you've got a little different terrain there, you can adjust it to be uh, solid there. And again, like I said, very solid as you walk in and out of the coach. You also got a little step light here once you're... Uh, Hooked up for, uh, at night, you've got a step light there. Right here we've got our outdoor kitchen where you'll have an electric fridge. Kind of nice, keep your uh, beverages cold outside. You've got storage here. This is all galvanized metal, so it'll keep up with the elements there. You've got an outdoor shower here or wash down system. USB and a regular outlet there. Here you also have another little storage cubby there. <clears throat> As we talked about up front there, here is where that table and uh, rack would slide in for the outdoor griddle. And then you've got your propane hookup there. Above that we're going to find a rooftop ladder. Uh, nice to get up and do any kind of maintenance you'll have to do on the roof. Uh, these Jayco roofs are rated at 4,500 pounds, so fully, fully walkable. Uh, on this particular model, you do have a rear door. What this is for is for storage. So if you wanted to put bicycles back here, you could. You just lift that up. you got storage there. Or say you had a kayak, something larger like that you can put in there. Spare tire off the back. All LED tail lights. You also do have a prep for an outdoor camera, or excuse me, a backup camera there. <clears throat> On this side here, we're going to find easy access to our uh, tanks. So here's where you would dump the tanks. All clearly labeled here for which tank they are, black or gray. Uh, here we're going to have a black tank flush. So when it does come time to dump, you can hook up a hose there. It's got a sprayer inside there that will clean that tank out and make the uh, monitors read accurate there. Here we've got an external cargo that's going to be underneath your dinette. So again, easy access to that. And here's just extra space where Jayco put a little cubby there just for extra storage. Can never have too much storage. Uh, coming to the other side here, we've got the other side of our pass-through storage where here you'll find the griddle 
as well as you're going to find a battery switch here to turn that on and off. Let's go check out the inside. Here we're inside the Jayco, excuse me, the 2024 Jayco J Feather 24BH. Right as we walk in the door here, you'll notice that you've got oversized bunks. Uh, when Jayco does these bunks, they're rated at 600 pounds a piece. Uh, you may remember in the or film outside there that this bunk end did tip up there for extra storage and extra space. Uh, we also find tie downs on the floor there. Uh, what people love about this floor plan is right as you walk in the door, you can get right to the bathroom. So if you've got younger kids that need to go in and out, you're not making a, a terrible mess inside the trailer. Uh, here we've got the option of the U-shaped dinette, which is nice because the whole family can sit here as well as it makes into a nice sized bed. Uh, sitting across from the dinette, you'll also find the TV with uh, storage space here. So you've got cabinets here. And cabinets underneath here. You've got an outlet here if you wanted to hook up a DVD player, any kind of uh, external player there. You've got Bluetooth radio here. Uh, you've got all your heat vents or above the floor here. Another great feature of this trailer is as you walk in the door, you've got basically a walk in pantry or a coat closet. This is something you won't find in most trailers. Uh, you also have a lot of room to put a garbage can as well. Getting to our kitchen here, you'll find an L-shaped design where you get some nice counter space. You have a flush mount oven here, so again it gives you a little more uh, counter space here with a bifold glass top door. Uh, you've got drawers everywhere. When Jacob builds these drawers, they rate them at 70 pounds a piece. Uh, fully boxed drawer here. One thing new for 2024 is they did all hidden hinges. So as you look at your cabinets here, you don't see any hinge work on the side of it. Uh, you also have one of my favorite options which is this uh, cell phone charger as well as a pop-up electrical strip. So just a nice space saver there. Just very very clean look. Uh, right here we're going to find our 8 cubic foot refrigerator. Uh, this is strictly a 12 volt refrigerator. Uh, so you get some nice size here. And this particular one opens from both sides. So you can open it one way or the other depending on what kind of uh, access you have there. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about was underneath the U-shaped dinette you do have storage. You will have cabinet doors underneath and then you have access from the top as well. Let's take a look at the bedroom. In the bedroom here we're going to find a queen bed. Uh, on, side, on both sides of that you will find closets. You'll have overhead storage with reading lights on both sides. Uh, also on each side of the bed you will find an outlet as well as a USB charger. Underneath the bed you're going to find storage and then also in the bedroom here in the roof you will find a vent to let in some nice fresh air. In the bathroom here you're going to find a very large shower with a retractable curtain. Also you'll find it is a full bath with a sink stool as well as a medicine cabinet. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Eddie with Hilltop Camper and RV. This is the 2024 24BH.